that we're talking about in Christ this morning. We're talking about in Jesus. Jesus lives inside of us by the Holy Ghost. Now, if you think about this just for a minute, our, our body became the temple. And in Acts 8 and other places it says, God no longer resides in a temple made with human hands. We are the place where God resides. Resides, excuse me. And He comes on us. He lives in us. Now, to the fervor that you release the power in yourself, the fervor means to be expounded upon, to be moved out, to the fervor and intents of your spirit will be the intents that you release it. Well, you're going to say, I'm a private person. I don't... It doesn't make any difference. If you're filled with the Spirit of God, you're going to do what the Spirit of God is leading you. If you're not filled with the Spirit of God, you're going to do what your flesh is telling you to do or your soul person is telling you to do. Well, I don't feel like praying for anybody. I don't want to go to church. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but somewhere you need to assemble yourself with like believers. Now, if you hang out with people that don't believe in healing, don't believe in salvation, don't believe in what the Bible teaches, you're only getting a part of the message. Not any condemnation in that, but that's all you got. If you go to that restaurant around there and you order a T-bone steak and they bring you a bone with no steak on it, you've just got part of the meat. Huh? How about it? Have you just had part of the meat? Are you feeding on the full message that God said? He says, I prepared in front of you a table. In Christ he had, but outside of him you got nothing. Well, I can whip it up, do it up. Well, keep, go at it, see how far. Bang your head against that wall over and see how far you get. Huh? Get out there on, I tell you, if you're so tough and so good this morning, just get out there and try to pull a hundred pound sack of anything by yourself. See how far you can go with it and how long you can go with it. And then begin to think about, in Christ I can take this and go. In Christ I can do these things. Think about that. You know, the Lord is ready to restore you to a right relationship to Himself. Not as man sees you, but as He sees you. He's ready to heal your body. He's ready to deliver you. He's ready to bring you into the fullness that He has for you. I would like this morning... Who's got the prayer list? I would like this morning to do something that I've done this before but I want, I, want, I want each individual this is like taking communion I want it to be personal with you okay I want, to, I want you to put your hands on your chest and I want you to receive I'm going to pray a prayer for you and I want you to receive a double portion the Elijah to Elisha double portion okay the empowering of the Holy Spirit And you believe with your faith. Father, we come together in agreement. The Word says that believers will lay hands on other believers and bestow upon them. In in 2 Timothy 1, verse 6, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I just give the gift of the Holy Spirit to every person with with their hands upon their chest that will believe this day that the anointing, the unction from the Holy Spirit that we have from you, Lord Jesus, that will bring us and fill us, just like when Elijah gave to Elisha a double portion of the presence of the living God, was able to do twice as many miracles as his father did. Well, Jesus, you are our begotten brother in the brotherhood, and you said in you all power, all authority had been given to you. And so right now, by the authority of your name, and by the authority of your word, and by the blood of your hanging on that cross, the facious blood that cleanses us and washing us, I put these hands on on these bodies that they receive the very indwelling of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and there will be an evidence of an outflow out of their very inward parts will flow a river of living water, and the Spirit of the living God will take over this vessel and will show them the pathway of righteousness and peace and joy, and they will know that they know they can go in the power of your name and do the very thoughts and the intents of your heart, Father, because your Son, even though He was your Son, went down to the river Jordan on that day and John the Baptist baptized him in the water and when he came out you outpoured yourself into your very own son even though he was deity prior to this he needed the filling Lord we are flesh just like he was and so we need that filling that infilling that freshness of newness of life that only you can give Lord Jesus and I just thank you that each person is receiving that this morning I thank you for healing for Wanda I thank you for deliverance of, of Bobby Sue, Father, from that, that awful infection she's got and been sitting in a wheelchair for 50 years. I thank you, Lord, you're raising that girl up in Jesus' name. I thank you for Wanda that has suffered from cancer, Father. 
I thank you for Lyle who's been diagnosed to have cancer. Father, I thank you for that man that's being healed and whole. I give you all a pray. Father, there's a person here that has, is the devil, you know, he, he can only lie to a person. He can tell them that they are, have cancer. He can tell them they're sick. He can tell them their wife doesn't love them. Their husband doesn't love them. They're not going to do anything. But Father, we bind the enemy in Jesus' name off of these people that they have just received the very power from on high. Greater is he that is in them than he is in the world. We thank you, Lord, that the very presence of the Holy Spirit is in each of us. We thank you that every person that comes in contact with us will see and know that there is a fruit. We pray for the leadership of this nation in the world, Father. They're meeting in Korea. That there would be great and mighty things happen. That the leadership there would get on their face before a holy God and say, What can we do to shape our world? And Father, we know that we live in treacherous times. But you know the way. The beginning and the end. You know everything. So we're resting upon your word that all is well. And we give you praise. And everybody said, Amen.